Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the previous tutorial, we have learned how to create and open the files in C++. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to write some contents to the file. All right, we have included the fstream header file to our program so that we can use the streams associated with the files such as the if stream, the of stream and the if stream. So here this tutorial is going to be about writing to a file and that's why what we're going to do is we're going to create an object of the of stream class. So it's going to be of stream and then let's give a name let's say file and then what we can do is we can uh, use the open method to open the file or you know we can pass it here in the constructor so i just gonna pass the file name and it's gonna be let's say anil.txt and then we need to specify the file opening more so here we can leave it blank or you know we can specify the more if we leave it blank the c++ is gonna mm, open the file in in the out and trunk mode so i'm gonna leave it blank here and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna check whether the file has opened successfully or not so i'm gonna use if and it's gonna be file dot is open you know if the file is not opened properly and then we're gonna print out the error message or we're gonna tell to the user for that i'm gonna use a say out and i'm just gonna say unable to open the file Alright, let's end this line. The next thing that we're going to do is if the file has opened successfully, then we're going to write to the file. So it's going to be the else part here. So here in C++, we can use the stream insertion operator, you know, just like the way we were using it to insert something to the output stream. So here we're just going to insert that to this file stream. So it's going to be the object of this OStream class, you know, which is file here and then the stream insertion operator and then the content that you want to write. So here we're just gonna say learning lad rocks. So it's gonna be learning lad rocks and let's end this line. And uh, in the next line we can insert some other strings. For example, let's say we have more than 200 videos now and you know similarly if you want to insert anything you guys can do that the next thing is you know after inserting or writing to the file what we need to do is we need to close the file so it's going to be file dot close and that's it now i'm gonna save this and uh, i'm gonna you know i'm just gonna tell to the user that you know we have returned successfully to the file so i'm gonna use c out and i'm just gonna say successfully return to the file open it and check it out all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this and it says successfully return to the file open it and check it out you know i have made a lot of spelling mistakes but it doesn't matter all right now i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna open up the folder where we have this project and here you guys can see a file called anil.txt a text document is created and you guys can see the size you know 1kb and i'm gonna open it just double click on it and here you guys can see learning lad rocks we have more than 200 videos now so this is the string you know which we have uh, written to the file and you guys can see that in this file now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the contents here and uh, i'm just gonna say um Hi, I'm Anil Shetty and uh, I'm just going to change this one to I'm awesome, you know, whatever it is. And I'm just going to save it, build and run this. Now, you know, it says successfully returned to the file, open it and check it out. So I'm just going to open up the folder and open up that file. And now you guys can see it. We have, hi, I'm Anil Shetty and uh, I'm awesome. You know, the previous content is lost. That's because you know by default when we use this method you know the file will be opened in the out and trunk mode and that's why you know whatever the previous content is there in the file will be removed and a brand new file will be offered to us to work with you know whatever the content is there you know that will be removed and an empty file is given for us to work so here 
if you want to append to the file then you guys can use uh, the append uh, file opening mode and uh, which i'm going to teach you in the upcoming tutorial and uh, and to write a file in c++ we can use an object of the of stream class or the fstream class and just like the way we were writing to the output stream we can write to the files using the stream insertion operators so this is it guys this is how you guys can write some contents to the file and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial